Hello there, future ACCs. This is Vishnu Vijay, a proud Fintrammer, and I welcome you to another session of the revision short series for the Auditor National's paper. So, folks, in this session, we will be discussing about internal controls as well as internal control deficiencies as well. Okay, folks. So, let's begin, shall we? What is internal control, first of all? Internal control is basically a system or a control measure that is in place within the organization to ensure that the financial statement is not materially misstated, isn't it? So basically, it's like a precaution that we take to prevent any sort of errors or fraudulent activities uh, to take place within the financial statement. That's basically as to what internal controls are and what is a deficiency of internal control mean? It basically means that the internal controls that we have in place within the organization is not operating effectively. And as auditors, are we required to review these controls? No, not necessarily. Okay, because there is no mandatory requirement to provide an opinion on the internal controls within the organization. However, what is the objective of the auditor here? The auditor would have to provide an opinion on the financial statements, isn't it? So if the financial statement is misstated due to the operating ineffectiveness of a control, then the auditors will have to take a look at the control and the reliability of the control as well. Okay, folks, that's basically the uh, idea here. Now, so deficiency or deficiency of internal control is basically the operating ineffectiveness of a particular uh, internal control, which leads to a material misstatement within the financial statement, to put it very simply. Now let's talk from an exam perspective, shall we? So in your exam, you will be given a scenario and you, may, you will be required to point out the deficiencies of internal controls within the scenario. Okay, folks, and this is an easy process. All you have to do is you just have to, you know, copy paste the instances from the scenario and maybe rephrase it a little bit. That's basically it. However, there's a way in which you have to structure that particular deficiency so that you get the one mark for pointing it out. Okay, folks, so what you have to do is you have to First of all, identify the deficiency as I mentioned before, and then you have to explain why that is a deficiency. Okay, folks, why exactly did you think that this particular uh, sentence or this particular uh, instance indicated a deficiency within the internal control system? You have to explain the why aspect, and you will also have to explain the impact that this deficiency will have for the organization. Okay, folks. So that is basically something that we need to take a look at. Okay, folks, that's basically how you structure the answer. Okay, folks, so keep this in mind. Now, kind of an easy sentence, identify, explain, and then explain the impact on the organization. Not on the financial statements, but on the organization. Okay, folks, so remember that. Now, moving on to the next aspect. So you, you, you shouldn't only, you know, identify and explain these uh, deficiencies. They will also require you to recommend a particular control as well. Okay, folks, this recommendation is, uh, you know, kind of easy as well. As long as you are able to identify what the deficiency is, then it will be easy for you to create a or recommend a control as well. So when you're recommending a control, think from the perspective of the organization. Okay, folks, so that's basically a key point to consider here. And of course, another requirement that, that the particular question will have is that along with recommending the control, also recommend a test of control for the control that you recommended as well. Okay, folks, this is a common question in the exam, isn't it? Identify the deficiency, recommend control, and recommend a test of control as well. So when it comes to the test of control aspect, what you have to do is you are you have to think it from think of it from a perspective of an auditor. Okay, folks, when recommending control, think from the perspective of the organization as to you know how that particular control uh, or what kind of a control can I implement within the organization. And of course, uh, when recommending a test of control, think from the perspective of an auditor. Okay, folks. So, recommending test of controls is easy in most instances. However, sometimes some students, you know, feel blank when, uh, you know, thinking of a test of control. So, for those students, what I would uh, suggest is you can use this mnemonic uh, in order to, you know, memorize some of the actions that you could conduct in some instances. Okay, folks. The mnemonic is basically wire co. W I R E C O. So, W basically stands for walkthrough test. Okay, folks, as auditors, as part of conducting a test of control, we can conduct a walkthrough test to make sure that a particular system is, uh, you know, working appropriately. Or what we can do is we can inspect certain documentation. For example, let's say that there is a control 
uh, which authorizes information, uh, authorizes invoices above a certain threshold. If that is the case, then we can inspect the invoice for authorization, isn't it? So that is basically inspection. Or what we can do is we can conduct R, that is reperformance of certain aspect, just to make sure that you know the controls are working appropriately. Or we can conduct an inquiry with the management or staff personnel as well. For example, if we are talking about let's say segregation of duties or anything like that, then we could uh, you know uh, speak with certain people in order to understand what kind of responsibilities that they have, etc. And then uh, we have C, which stands for computer aided audit techniques okay, folks we can conduct things like test data what is test data test data is basically inputting dummy data into the system to ensure as to whether the system is rejecting it or is it processing it etc isn't it that's basically the idea here and of course finally we will also we can also conduct o oh, that is observation as well okay folks if the organization has controls such as you know conducting inventory counts etc then as what it is we are or we we do have the authority to you know observe the count to make sure that everything has been done appropriately isn't it so these are some uh, internal sorry test of controls that you can use in your exam if you go you know blank or something okay folks so that's basically the idea here so that's basically all i wanted to cover in this particular small session and of course if you want to take a look at a detailed uh, you know revision of the entire syllabus of audit and assurance then feel free to check out the revision bootcamp the link is down given down in the description so check that out as well so i will see you later in another session where we will be discussing some more key topics okay folks so till then this is vishnu vijay signing off